Hello, this is Kiso102 and you. this is Miss Message. I apparently have some Miss Message, so let's just go into it. You've been warned. Perfect for staying inside and finishing my work. Oh. Damn, this isn't music in this game. Okay, so I am... Um, yeah. Alright. Alright. Multivariable calculus to let people know that I'm capable member of society. <laughs> Alright. Uh, plants. I bought that with my roommate mate, so... Made to add life to our rooms. Now we have green friends that welcome us home. Tea. Sometimes when I don't know what to do, I make tea. That sounds great. I want to look at the laptop like at the last time. My room next door. She used to keep it up and now it's usually closed. Well, that's not a good sign. This outfit must have cost less than 50 bucks. <laughs> and it's pretty cool. I see that there. One of my friends paying 240 bucks for a shirt I can relate. God damn, that's a lot of money. My precious Madoka Magica posters, which really is just a printout. You all right. Love me. Hope midterm went well. Got you, Boba. It's in the fridge. You all right? Oh, this is so cute. Oh, they are cute. And some notes from my friend and roommate May, who is both this and a little sweetheart. Door to the outside world. Uh, no, no, no. Right, let's stay inside. Uh, let's go ahead. Work stuff. Uh, what even is four dimensional shape? Yeah, I need to work. I'm so bored I can't focus. Uh, what is this? Should I? Sure, 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 sure. Oh, that's cute as hell. So cute. Um, so I wonder if she'll respond. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> um. That's too much. Mm. So don't worry, you're not distracting me, maybe a little, but I am trying. I am, I am. Me too, actually, working on a multi problem set right now. We should study together. Yeah, sure, why not? Nice! I got a date! What is this? Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. What's here? That... 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 Ooh! Ooh! Okay, I like that one. Oh, uh, this card? This card? This card? Okay, no, this card for me. Huh. What a strange thing. Oh, okay. There the night I went to meet God Carfine. Before I left, my roommates opened her door. Oh, that's a creaky door. You're leaving. When will you go back? Probably after nine. Oh. Why? Um, no reason. Okay, bye. Wait! Uh, before the day ends, happy birthday. Oh, it's my birthday! You remember? No one else remembered. I didn't even remember. Of course I remember. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Thank you. Thank you for being my friend. What? Why were you telling me this? I just thought life is so short. Why not express my appreciation for the people I care about? In that case, you're also an amazing friend. Thanks for being my friend too. Oh, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye bye. Whoa, those are nice. I met up with that. She told me her name, Amy. We laid out a blanket on the roof and I started to study. I thought we planned on working. We ended up getting lost in conversation. Sky. Sky's gorgeous and I... I know, right? I forget that I can do this. I know, right? <laughs> I forever feel... I forever... I'm forever that girl that gets really excited when the sky is in pretty colors. Yeah, man. What do you think of when you look at the sky? Nothing, for once. Only a feeling. Damn. Nothing? You know when your mind is constantly noisy? I look at the sky and I realize it's so much bigger than me. My problems mean nothing compared to it. And my mind quiets. That's so poetic. Huh. Arts. So you're into makeup? Hell yeah I am! God, can you imagine being so powerful you can transform into different people? Cause I can. God is a woman. Uh, makeup artist. Makeup artist. Have you thought about being a makeup artist? You think I'm that talented? You're sweet. God, that'd be amazing. The competition is fierce though. We'll just stick with it as a hobby. That's fair. You ever need someone to practice looks on? The volunteer as tribute. You're a beautiful canvas. I'll definitely take you up on that. Hey, that's nice. Airdrops. So how many strangers did you airdrop besides me? Everyone that showed up. <laughs> Maybe five. Did you meet all of them? Nah, only you. I'm the only one. You're also the only one to send something back. <laughs> I'll see. Why did you reply? I don't know. Bored. Wanted to meet people. Meet people? Yeah. I have a lot of friends, but I want more. Especially close ones. You don't have enough right now? Well, I used to have some close friends, but we grew apart. I feel ya. It's always sad when someone you share close personal moments with grow distance. Yeah. It's left a void in my heart, you know? And I tried to fill it by meeting new people. Talking, dating, slipping around. No matter how many people I meet, I'm still lonely. Is that what you're doing right now? Trying to fill the void with me? Maybe. Yeah, close friends who can trust anytime, anywhere, are the best. There's gonna be times where you have none. In those times, I try to improve myself and learn to love the person of me that is now alone. Oh, learning to love yourself is hard. Yeah. Time flew in a blink of an eye. Night fell. It's getting late. Yeah, we should head back. This was fun. Text me or uh, drop me <laughs> later, okay? I had turned my phone off to save battery. On my way back home, I checked my phone. That's a smart thing. Oh, I this is the, are these my missed messages? Um, hey mom. When I came back home, I felt cold, nervous. I didn't know why. I thought I was gonna check my messages. Don't come in, call the police, they'll know what to do, don't come in the room. What? Uh... The door felt heavier than usual as I opened the door. I saw the body hanging, the smell, the sight. There was no blood, but I felt blood on my hands. I felt myself looking down on the scene, myself, her. The police eventually came, a disembodied feeling, and heard myself scream endlessly. Can I, can I leave? My disembodied self watched me move and talk like an actor in the swirl circus I found myself in. I overheard strangers and friends alike talk. Did you hear what happened? No, what? Someone committed suicide. 
That's so sad. Who? Where? The second floor. Probably the know her. Me? No, but that sucks. Was pity the way she went, but didn't miss her. But I remember her smile, her laugh, the way she'd be kind in small ways. I couldn't forget her. When new people came into my life, I searched for her in them. I couldn't help it. I hoped she was still here. It was only during the funeral that the reality sunk in. At the funeral, I heard her singing, now sad and slow. Her singing when everyone else forgot, and her not being there anymore to remember. As I listened to her, my disembodied self crushed down to reality. The pain hit, this time without the anesthesia of shock. This was real. She was dead, and we were burning hair in the ground. Was there a message I missed? Okay, so I can do something different? Okay, that was a thing. Let's go again, let's go again. A heavy blizzard stretched on for miles. In the distance I saw a figure. May? It's not safe here. May, is that you? Come back! She just smiled, looking content amidst the dangerous hell. As if she was going somewhere better. As if she hadn't heard my voice. Lost in the blizzard. Don't go, please. Don't go alone. She disappeared into the snow. I'd miss my chance. I wake up in a cold soil, fearful, not sure why. What was that about? Never mind that, I should stop working. No, 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 attack to me! No, attack to me! Alright, so it's gonna be based on the decisions I make. Maybe I shouldn't leave. Can't focus. I just don't work and I'm wondering, well, I'll ever have to use this in real life. Where is Bill, Bill Nye when I need him to answer my important questions? Um, work, just keep working. Planes. For some time I start to lose focus. It's weird, I hear voices. Seems like they're coming from my roommate's room. Uh, uh, no, can we actually, like, help? Getting closer, I hear voices. I thought my Chinese was bad, I could still de detect the angry Chinese mother when I heard one. No, I don't know Chinese. Too lazy, why don't you? My mother's fast, lecturing Chinese, something pause for Mace. Self murmur of affirmation, then continued. I feel like I was listening to something I shouldn't have. I distanced myself on the door. Mm, can we like knock? Okay, not yet, I guess. Let's wait for some time to pass. Um, yeah, let's work. Make a violent attempt at working. After some minutes, I get tired and want to take a break. Can we check on May? Miss from my room is not quiet down. Hey, May. I wonder if I should check up on her. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. I hesitated, then knock. For some reason, I fear what I might find. Hello? Yes. Um. Shit, what should I say? You wanna hang out? You wanna hang out in my room? And do what? I don't know, talk? But I have work to do. Take a break! You always have work to do. You should take a break. Besides, we haven't hung out for a long time. I miss you. You could use a break. Nice! And I miss you too. Okay, hold on a sec. She went back into her room to get something. When she came back, we laid on my bed, looking out of the setting sun. Mmm, let's not be crazy, okay? Sky. Isn't the sky beautiful? It's so vast. I know, right? The sky always makes me think about how tiny we are. Yeah. We were t we're tiny and mortal. Like tomorrow, we could just die like that. That's that's sad. <laughs> Don't say that. That's so sad. Oh, my bad. Sometimes my existential crisis creep up on me. Oh yeah, it's your birthday, right? <laughs> I forgot. You remember? 
course I did. Don't do that to me. <laughs> she sang me happy birthday. Thank you for remembering. So your first warm my birthday became like any other day. No one else had to remember it either, but she had. Had a weird dream. It was about you, actually. It was kind of haunting. My god, I need to hear this. You were in a snowstorm, and I called for you, but you didn't hear me. And I lost you. Huh, what does it mean? No idea, but it stuck with me. I hope you're okay. I hope you're okay too, May. It's just a dream. Here, we were still scared by bedtime. I tell you a bedtime story, okay? Oh yeah, bedtime stories. Hmm, how are you? So how have you been? Fine, just tired. Big mood. So how, how so? I don't know, like a bone deep tiredness? Day after day? I know what that means. Don't you think you're depressed? Hmm. Maybe? I took into the person so long time ago but felt like they didn't work. That sucks. Maybe it's a type of antidepressant? Maybe you need to try a different one? Oh. Don't take my advice, actually. I know nothing. I <laughs> mean, neither. Not just about this, but in general. I feel you. Has it gotten any better? The tiredness. Not really? By now, I kinda just want to die. Should I just go? And be honest about it? I mean, I know the future. <laughs> But what do you tell a friend that's going through that? I guess... I guess that... What's the point in hiding it, I guess? Are you suicidal? Mm. Oh my god, sorry. Was that too blunt? Feel free to not answer. No, you're good. Yeah, I think about it sometimes. I feel like we all do, so... No, not everybody. I imagine how it all go down, how to look, smell, the aftermath. Whether anyone will care that I was gone, not just about how I went. How could it go down? You really want me to talk about it? I'd probably cry. Oh, you're right. Never mind. I know. You're awkward around crying people. Hey. Me too, don't worry. Yeah, it sucks. Gun policy makes it hard to get a gun around here. If I own a gun, I'd probably be dead a long time ago. I'm scared of other methods. I might survive, and if I do, the PD people will feel the brain damage that I have. It's scary. I am glad you're alive. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm glad you're scared. I don't want you to go. You mean a lot to me. Thanks. I don't want to talk about your parents. I've already, I've already done a lot. I've already went into this too far. You want to stay outside? It's relaxing, but I'm also getting tired. Really? I'm wide awake. I think I'm just tired in general. How so? You ever feel like every day is the same day? Kind of. Side to side of a sort of monotony. The day where I stay inside, windows open, with tea and book is the good shit. Ah. Huh. Do you not feel the same? I don't know. I feel like I wake up, do things I don't enjoy, go to sleep, then do it all over again. Yeah. I don't want to be that person. Like, it's not that easy to just do things you enjoy. But I understand that people try to help. But I can't say. I mean, uh, I don't want to be mean. I want to be there for the person. I don't want to say the, the same things that everybody tells you when they're in the, this kind of situation. What do you mean? Let me hear you. Like, every day I wake up, force myself to do something I don't like, and go back to sleep. Sometimes I look outside my window and see a whole world out there. I feel the struggle of being stuck inside all day. Huh. <clears throat> Especially in times like this, which you are really stuck inside. Try to do the things you enjoy. 
Why do you not do what you love? It's not that easy. If I knew what I love doing, I'd be doing it by now. Exactly. It's like a rut and you don't really know what to do because everything seems worthless and everything seems like it's it's not enjoyable to do, like you're doing it just for doing it. So it's not a good advice. I understand that it's really like, well, just do things that you like to do instead or get a hobby or something, but it's not that easy. If, if, yeah, exactly. If she knew what she liked doing, she'd be doing it. But it's not about doing, oh, it's not about the thing. It's about how you feel doing it. But I don't know what I want to do. Is this... I'll... I help you. We can try different things. We'll figure this out. I'll try out every hobby and profession with you if that's what it takes. Thank you. You're really so good to me. Besi because I'm worried about you and I care about you. I want you to feel better. I don't want to... Okay, we're close enough. It's fine. What are those noises about? Hmm? Earlier in your room. Oh, my mom called. Sorry. Did I bother you? No, she sounded really angry though. Yeah, uh... You don't have to tell me. She and I... Is everything okay with you two? I don't know. Every time my mom calls, I feel sick. Angry. Do you want to talk about it? Talk about what? Why she makes you feel that way. <laughs> you sound like a therapist. How are you feeling? Why are you feeling that way? Just want to help you. Yeah, I know. I was always the golden child. When I was young, I was good at everything, so my parents never pushed me to work hard at anything. As I grew up, I started lagging behind because I didn't put in effort. The only thing I would put effort into was writing. They yelled at me when they called me writing. Writers weren't engineers or doctors. Writing would never make money. Now my life is slowly falling apart. And instead of listening to me and helping me, my parents are yelling at me for wasting time playing games. Wow, thank you for telling me this. That's fucked. Thanks for listening. Writing. What did you write about? Before your parents made you stop. Oh my god, it's embarrassing. You can tell me. Okay, you won't laugh. I promise. Harry Potter fanfiction. <laughs> you say you wouldn't laugh. Sorry. I'm just surprised. Don't be ashamed. That's awesome. I love Harry Potter. Ugh, if you say so. I do say so. Write more. Why do you not do more of that often then? Everyone likes writing though. Anything creative, art, music, writing, it doesn't count. Of course it counts. That's plenty of successful writers out there, but I'm not them. I'll never be able to make a living out of it. Yes! But it doesn't mean that you have to just give it up and stop writing forever. You can still write more fanfiction. I mean, you can still write anything at all. There's so much sites in which people write and post stuff all the time that you don't have to become a writer to write. You can just do it. My parents would get so angry. I mean, if you live here since you're my roommate, they don't have to know. Poor but happy. Would you rather live the way you're currently living or live poor but happy? So to say you're not good enough to make it profitable. There's so many ways to make profitable nowadays. I don't know. Your parents will go. And our parents will be dead in a couple of decades anyway. Oh my god. Those are my parents you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, that was a dickish of me. But you know what I mean. I mean it like they're not gonna live our lives forever. In the end, we're the ones that be gonna stuck with ourselves. So. Talk more about everything and nothing. The TV shows and memes are our worst for fears and biggest desires. For we knew it, evening down. I gotta go. I have work. Yeah, good luck. I'm always down to hang out again. Yay! Thank you for listening to me. It really means a lot. She disappeared! I, though I also had work, I didn't regret talking with me one bit. It was fun. Mm, can I... 
Maze door is open. I wonder where she is. She's not at her room. Uh, should we should probably work? Should I accept it? Uh, no, 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 it's fine. After some minutes, I get tired and I want to take a break again. <laughs> I think I need to use the bathroom. Must be all that tea. Where's the bathroom? Is that the bathroom? My is you okay? Um, yeah, bathroom. Oh, that looks terrifying. Oh, she didn't seem to hear or see me. She's still harming. Are you okay? I'm fine, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? I... Really? Okay. You don't look okay. I need to go. Wait, don't go. Can I hug you? I hug her. I wanted to say something and I didn't want to break the silence. After a pause, she spoke. Thank you. I guess I'm not okay. I just say I'm okay because it's a gut reaction. I don't really feel okay, but I don't want to bother anyone. Especially you, you're so kind. I made soothing motions on her back. Ugh, just... I don't want to keep pressuring her so much. I really don't. I don't want to be like, so why, why, why? I, I just don't. I really don't. But I guess I'm just scared of the last ending that I don't want to get again. So, uh, that's why I was so pressuring, but I don't I'm just gonna wait. Thanks for being here. Of course. I know this doesn't look good. I need to punish myself. I don't deserve your kindness. I really don't. Hey, yes, you do. You're a good person. Of course you deserve kindness. Is there anything I can do? Just hug. It's been months since that day. Me and I had gotten closer. I even consider her a best friend. In dark moments, we hold each other's hands. Although I supported her, I didn't want to feel responsible for her. Didn't want her to be dependent on me. So we drove down to every therapist in town until we found one she liked. One night, May hugged me by surprise. May? Thank you. Me? Well for. I uh, don't know how to say this without seeming emotionally constipated. Thanks for caring about me, for listening to me. I couldn't tell you before because I was sad, but I appreciate you, really. Oh, anytime. Thank you too, for being my friend. You teach me to be more kind. Oh my gosh, no you. No you, you never burst. Later that night she gave me a note, both haunting and touching. It read, I was buried in the blizzard. The snow pelted powerful and unpredictable, never ending. I weakly cried for help, and no one came. My boys, my boys lost in the snow. But you saw my messages. You grabbed me a shovel. Help, and I could finally open my door. Now that's a great ending. There's something to look forward to after all. All right. So that was Miss Messages. That was a very intense thing that I was not <laughs> ready to go through right now. Uh, I've heard that it's another two endings. Probably there's a true ending that I didn't got. And probably... There is. But... You should check it out for yourself. It's uh, free to play in Steam. I will leave the link in the, in the description as usual and you can find it there. You should totally check it out and I will see you later.